Albacore have very long pectoral fins. Skipjack have stripes. Big eye, believe it or not, have really big eyes. Yellow fin, kind of have yellow fins. Blue fin, they kind of have silver fins but they're kind of bluer. They're more blue than the other ones. They're gorgeous, so if you've never seen a bluefin, Google it right now because you will be in awe. Yeah, they're phenomenal. About three hours before my second year chemistry final, I was stressed because I probably hadn't studied enough. Ran off to the library and I was just kind of going through the titles and I came across a book called Song for the Blue Ocean. I thought the title looks good. The picture on the front had a leaping dolphin. Very false advertising, I'll let you know, because the first chapter was all about bluefin tuna. I was so hooked. Um, one, because I didn't realize how much humans could impact another animal, and because of the way the author, Carl Safina, described this fish like the most beautiful animal in the world, and it really is. A giant bluefin tuna, among the largest and most magnificent of animals, hung suspended for a long, riveting moment, emblazoned and backlit like a saber-finned warrior from another world. Um, there's Atlantic bluefin, which I guess you can guess where that one comes from. There's Pacific bluefin, um, and then there's Southern bluefin. In Skiji, which is the, the world's largest fish market, it's located in Tokyo, Japan, uh, they have this big auction at the start of the year, and the first fish of the year is always sold for a huge amount of money. And it's always uh, locally caught, so a Pacific bluefin tuna. In the Pacific, uh, the stock population is about 3% of what we, we say virgin stock biomass, so the original abundance of fish, so 3% of uh, what was once there, so it's not in good shape at all. The biggest challenge when it comes to managing tuna is, unlike a species like cod or rockfish, tuna live across oceans, and so they live both within national waters and they live in the high seas. The high seas are waters outside of national jurisdiction, and so when we say national jurisdiction, we mean the water from a country's coast to 200 nautical miles offshore. And it is each country's responsibility to manage the resources, so the fish, uh, the minerals, everything that exists within their exclusive economic zone, uh, countries have sovereignty over that. And that is the fundamental challenge when it comes to managing tuna. Um, and it always has been, because what one country does in terms of its fishing pressure will impact the stock as a whole, which will impact another country. It sounds simple in theory, but if you're catching underage fish, small fish that haven't had a chance to reproduce and give back to the population, you're never going to rebuild the population. I do have hope and I think that people can change and everyone cares um, for some reason and so hopefully we can all speak the same language and fix the problems that we've created. I will try so hard not to swear. I could talk the all day. Where the do I look?